Jury has been polled and the verdict is... Disbarred lawyer Alex Murdo was found guilty of killing his wife and son on Thursday by a jury in South Carolina. The murder case has gripped the U.S. for two years. Murdo, who comes from an influential legal family with immense political power around South Carolina's low country region, was mostly expressionless as the verdict was announced. Before Thursday, he'd admitted to lying about his alibi and to a list of financial crimes and confessions that dented his credibility. However, even in late stages of the trial, Murdo said he had nothing to do with the killings. I didn't shoot my wife or my son any time. Prosecutors said Murdo shot his wife and son at close range on the family estate on June 7, 2021, to generate sympathy and distract from his financial crimes, which include theft of millions of dollars from his law partners and clients to feed a years-long addiction to opioids and support an expensive lifestyle. One of the strongest pieces of evidence against Murdo was a video shot by his son Paul, which placed Alex Murdo at the crime scene, the dog kennels on his estate, just minutes before the murders occurred. That contradicted with what he told investigators. Defense lawyers accused law enforcement of fabricating evidence to frame Alex Murdo. They motioned for a mistrial, which was swiftly denied. Lead prosecutor Creighton Waters spoke to reporters after the verdict. It doesn't matter who your family is. It doesn't matter how much money you have. If you do wrong, if you break the law, if you murder, then justice will be done in South Carolina. Murdo may face up to 30 years behind bars for each of the two counts of murder when he's sentenced on Friday.